Angeles Post Office says it's cracking down on crime and using the month of June to let everyone know the steps being taken to keep your mail safe. The Post Office says it's targeting theft for mailboxes and mail carriers, which has risen dramatically in, since early last year. Now, the steps include installing 12,000 high security blue collection boxes, replacing 49,000 old security keys so thieves who steal from mail carriers can't get into mailboxes, and increasing security steps customers need to take when filing a change of address form. Tonight, 2 News Oklahoma problem solver Pete Knudsen tells us about two customers who know that mail crimes can be costly. At your curb or the corner mailbox, crooks target the unsuspecting. They wait and watch, hoping you'll put a check in the outgoing mail, like this blue collection box outside the post office. Then thieves pounce, turning your effort to pay a bill into their opportunity to clean out your bank account with a scam called check washing. And it's happening not just here, but across the country. It's scary, it's scary. Kathleen Bailey found out she was almost on the hook for $5,000 after being notified by her bank. They asked me, did you write a check for $5,000? And I said, no, I don't even have $5,000 in my account. Her bank provided a copy of the check. She remembered making out check 1450, but not to a Brooke Swanson and not for $5,000. I wrote it to the water department for, I think it was 8156. Her bank told her it suspects someone washed the check she dropped off at this USPS blue box. Check washing is a technique when someone removes a check's original ink and rewrites it. Luckily, the withdrawal was flagged as suspicious. She didn't lose any money, but Kathleen says she did lose sleep. Yeah, I had to change my whole checking account. And that's a lot of difficulty for some people. And it's not just mail checks and bills that can cause issues. A Green Country viewer says she mailed $3,000 worth of items, including coins, to Florida, but the package never arrived. The viewer goes on to tell us a similar situation happened to us 10 years ago, and the package was never found. This latest package held family heirlooms that can never be replaced, and I'm devastated. I want answers. Finally, the viewer says she filed a claim with the post office, but didn't get any answers. So she contacted the problem solvers, and we touched base with post office higher-ups at the regional office. We found out that package was actually at a mail facility in Florida, but for some reason, just sat there for days. It finally was delivered, just hours after we asked that post office representative for help. Fortunately, that viewer's situation and Kathleen's check-washing problem were resolved. But both are developing new habits when mailing items. I'm not going to ever use a blue box again. Never. And they're counting on the post office to deliver on their mail crime crackdown. Pete Knutson, 2 News Oklahoma, Problem Solvers.